Hello everybody. In this screencast, we're going to talk about table views. Table views allow you to present data in a list. As you can see here, this is a list of cities. And also it provides the scroll up and scroll down feature. Okay, so you can, it provides a scroll view, so you can scroll up and down the list. And it provides rows. So this is a row, for example. This is a row. And um, uh, the rows can be more complicated than that. This row only has a text has a single text field, but it can have pictures, it can have other text fields, it can have also responsive um, uh, components such as a button and so on. To implement uh, uh, a table view or to include a table view into your uh, view controller, you need, to, um, you need to implement two delegates or two protocols. The, the, uh, the first protocol is the UI data source, table view data source. And the UI table view data source specifies where is the data going to come from and um, uh, where is data going to come from and how is this data going to be used to generate these rows. So it's called the UI table view data source. Um, the other uh, delegate that you have to implement is also the UI table view delegate, which actually governs uh, what happens when a user clicks on a, one of these one of these rows, uh, how to configure the headers and footers of the uh, the table view, and so on. Okay. Now, um, how do I identify a specific row in the table view? The interesting part is that table views can also have sections. For example, if you look at this table you could see that it has sections. The sections are the states. For example, you have a state, Arizona, California, and Florida, and so on. And then under each state, you, you could see that it has the uh, some cities under that state. So for example, this is section zero, this is section one, and then you have section two, and you have section three. So this means that to be able to identify a specific row, let's like say, for example, I want to identify San Jose. Okay, to be able to identify San Jose, it's in section, it's in section one, and it's the the row for section. Its row is zero, one, and two. So it's in row two. So it's in row two of section one. All right. So basically, to uh, to be able to identify an item, uh, uh, a list item, or a table view item here, or a cell, uh, you need to to to, to use a, a a class that's called index. Okay, so what we presented so far is just a very quick overview uh, on table views, cells, the delegates, the how to identify an item, and so on. We will look into more detail in the future videos. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.